Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and show you how you can remove the password protection features or option from your external drive like SSD, HDD, pen drive, and microSD and more. Well, we basically use the password protection to protect our privacy and content. But when it comes to use one particular portable pen drive or SSD or HDD with multiple users, then you need to remove that password protection so that everybody can use it. Therefore, in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how easily you can remove your password protection from your external drive by using your M1 MacBook Pro with macOS Monterey. Alright guys, now if you want to just remove your password protection, let's say you forgot your password from your external drive and you just want to, you know, clean it up and you want to just make it more accessible. Now go ahead and click on your spotlight search and type disk vitality. Open this up. Now once you come up right here, just go ahead and choose your external drive from here. And now once you got your external drive from here, now all you want to choose your erase option. Now before you go further, here is what you need to understand, okay? And once you've done this process, every single file that you might have available on your external drive will be erased. So if you have anything important, you can copy those files to your Mac and then you can get those things back to your external drive later on. Once you've understand this scenario, now let's go ahead and do the further process. Now, the first things, of course, you can change the name. So I'll change the name with uh, Fix369. Now let's go ahead and talk about your format. Okay, so the format, as you guys can see, has been selected. It's called APFS, which is Apple File System. Well, this basically works only with Apple computers. However, if you want to make your external drive more accessible to every single computer like Windows, uh, Linux, and your Mac, then you have to choose the universal format which is called XFAT. Go ahead and choose it up right there. And now the scheme you should choose the guide portation map. Now once you choose these three things, now let's go ahead and hit on erase. And afterward it says done, okay? Now once it says done, so let me just go ahead and um, reconnect the external drive with this M1 Mac with macOS Monterey to see whether it is working or not. As you guys can see, now this time it is not asking in password on our M1 Mac with macOS Monterey. That means your external drive is no longer password protected. So this is how you can do it guys. Hope you find this video useful. If so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.